Hey everyone, today on League of Legends Minis, I'm going to talk about Xerath. Xerath is a pretty simple champion. You stay at a range, and you poke. The difficulty is landing his abilities, since they're all skill shots. But once you get the hang of that, he's actually pretty easy to play. There is a little bit more to playing Xerath, though. Xerath actually has an optimal ability rotation. If you don't use your abilities in this order, your burst is slower. His Q, Arcano Pulse, has a long animation. Even if you smart cast it, even if you aren't locked into the charge portion of the ability, it's still going to have that long animation. With this animation, the end animation, it can't be cancelled, so naturally, using his Q results in a slower rotation. This means that if you use it first in your combo, it'll take your abilities a little longer to fire out. So, you may have guessed it. His optimal ability rotation is starting with either W or E first. Both W and E can be chained together extremely fast. And since both of them have crowd control effects attached to them, it makes it easier to land Arcano Pulse as a combo finisher. In almost every situation, starting your combo with W is the best. It has the longest range and a good AoE, as well as a powerful slow if you land it in the center, so it can be used to set up your other abilities really well. If you're just poking, then sure, using Q is the best, but getting into the habit of not using Q first when doing a full ability rotation is actually really important to playing Xerath well. If you're in a situation where you want to just kill somebody really quickly, the small delay at the end of your Q, if you start off with it, could actually result in you missing the kill or dying. So you gotta be really careful about which ability you use first. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.